all the traveling and the crazy schedule during the summer, it's, it's always nice to find a nice quiet hotel before the race. I try to relax as much as I can, um, stay away from the crowds. Um, we're here at the Sheridan Maui and uh, with a 12 hour time change, it's, uh, it's hard to keep in touch with South Africa. So the timing is pretty important and I'm about to get uh, in contact with my coach again, Roger, in Cape Town. Well, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, last couple of sessions, you just got to really work on, on fine-tuning your speed for the swim. And there's a bit of time for one more circle of the bikes. Yeah. And they want to do the one after the other just to get that simulation as well, so you get the changeover of the modes. Well, thanks, and, Ian. Uh, and yeah, so don't, don't get cheap either because you missed a couple of those and then you go home like all spacey and hot comatose and love that too so and forget in all the smashing it up and down the hills to um, uh, keep your energy drink going. Yeah, and I'll take some extra of those cliff blocks um, just to make sure I fuel and get all the carbs in, all the electrolytes. My swim tra training is very unconventional. Uh, most, most athletes swim 25k a week roundabout, um, which is a lot of swimming. And uh, I've been swimming, I think, 25 years now, and you get tired of watching the line going up and down, up and down. So I never swim in the pool at all anymore if I can help it. So I've been swimming um, at the beach here at the Sheridan quite a bit. Um, I practice open water swimming. Um, my swimming is, I probably swim 8Ks a week total, uh, which is a nice change. And uh, the, swimming, the swim session I just did was uh, basically 2,000 meters straight. Uh, the race distance is 1,500. So it's a 2,000 meter straight swim. And um, I went out around the boat and I did a number of um, exits on the ocean, uh, on, the, on the beach. Um, just to practice getting out of the sea, running a little bit, getting back, jumping in because um, it is quite a difficult change to go from being horizontal in the water with your arms working to getting up and sprinting on the sand, jumping back in and swimming hard again. It's, uh, it's quite a spike in the heart rate and also it's something to get used to and for me being a big guy it's actually one of the uh, advantages things is, is being able to get up and run sooner and also when I get back in the ocean run a little bit further. And um, coming from South Africa, I've spent a lot of time um, playing in the ocean and playing in the surf. So the bigger the waves, the stronger the current, and the harder the entrance and exit in the in the race, the, the better for me. So I usually use those places to move up in the, in the race. The road bike session I'm doing today is uh, the main set of 10 times 5 minute hill climbs. And uh, my coach Ian gave me, a, according to the watts that I've been doing in the past, he gave me a specific workout. We're going to aim for 450 to 460 watts and, and see how it goes. Um, so I'm going to find a nice steep hill so I can pour a lot of watts in onto, onto the cranks. Hopefully 450, 460 watts is, is a good, good yardstick. Um, and I do include the road bike training because it's so honest. Even though our racing is off-road and it is a mountain bike event, um, a lot of the training is done on the road bike uh, simply because there's no way to cheat. Um, you have to get the honest work done and using the power meter it's important to, to get the numbers and the data and with mountain biking it's just too unpredictable. The terrain basically dictates your pace so the serious workouts I do on the road, on the road bike and then when it's time to relax or when it's time to work on the skills I'll, I'll use the 29er and I'll go, go ride the course or go practice certain skills. No session is ever the same and you can't predict three weeks of workouts in advance so we literally go from day to day and if I don't have my phone with me, we, <laughs> I wouldn't know what I'm training today. So um, we, we spend a lot of time emailing and, and sending texts and stuff, um, even though it's across 12 hour time change.